Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Ivan, thank you for having me to be your guest presenter for this innovation forum. So I'm Michael Haynes. I'm a B2B customer strategy specialist. Um, so for the next oh, 40 minutes or so, I am going to try to give you some practical strategies and approaches on how to uh, maneuver in this crazy, unprecedented time that we are in right now. Uh, now, for those of you that attended last month's session, Clive Smallman gave a great presentation about uh, some of the things you need, need to do around planning and taking action to succeed in this environment. So I'm really gonna build on that today, and I I'm going to try to make this as very practical, giving you some specific things that you can really uh, work with. While I'll be focusing on from a B2B perspective, a lot of the concepts that I'm gonna be talking about are definitely applicable for those that are operating in the business consumer environment or those considering operating in B2C, uh, as that in itself can present an opportunity. In the world that we are today, if, um, we've all been working from home and being inundated you know, on social media. If you go on to the likes of the various uh, magazines, Entrepreneur, Forbes, et cetera, everyone is saying you've got to flex, you've got to pivot shift. You've got to remodel. Um, you, 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 you've got to pivot shift, flex, and veer from your business plan. Um, these are all nice buzzwords, but cr quite frankly, what does that really mean? How are you going to about doing those things? For some big businesses, that pivot and shift, shift, uh, shift is fairly obvious and fairly easy, but for many of us, not so much. Uh, and some of the suggestions that they're giving, very high level, veer from your business plan. Or one article I saw earlier this week, be creative, innovative, and decisive to survive. So let's talk about this word innovation. So what exactly does innovation? Innovation can have many contexts, uh, many interpretations by many people. There's often a general perception uh, amongst people generally that innovation is simply around products or technology. I took a look to see what some of the leading thinkers in this space globally have to say about what innovation is. Uh, so Kevin McFarthing talks about the introduction of new products and services that adds value to the organization. Um, we have the likes of uh, Stephen Shapiro, who says it's about staying relevant. Uh, Robert Brand says it's any variation uh, goes as long as it's new and it addresses customer needs and wants. And the one that is at the bottom, which I, uh, I particularly like and don't mind, is making changes in something that's established by introducing new methods, ideas, or products. Now, that definition I tend to like the best. Now, in today's environment, whether you're looking to preserve your current business operations, whether you are looking to see how you might uh, pivot and flex, or for those of you that are looking to scale and or grow, because I've come across myself in some meetings, a number of organizations where this is opportunity to really take it to the, to the next level. Regardless of where you are in, on your journey currently right now, and you're looking to do any of those things, what you need to do to succeed is, is what you need to do is to business innovate. And by business innovation, I'm talking about making new and introductions and or improvements within your organization. And this can occur across one of five areas. It can be with respect to your products and services in your offerings. It can be in terms of your organizational innovation, in terms of how you structure the business. It can be in terms of marketing innovation. And I'm going to be talking a lot about marketing uh, in terms of where I feel marketing is at and actually where it's going to need to go to thrive and succeed moving forward. And it can also be around process innovation. 